Y'all, Brandy really gets on my nerves. Like she, like I tried to like her a little ass, but she really works my nerve. Let's just get straight into this review. Um. Okay, Omarion and April is not there. Who cares? Um, but Fizz explains that Omarion is out on tour. He needed to rest up. I guess him singing one song every night is really just stressful. And, you know, he's on this big city. He's on this world tour, guys. And he couldn't come. Just like he couldn't come to the Soul Train Awards and accept his his award for best collaboration with Chris Brown and Janae. They only got that award because of Janae's line. But you gotta eat the booty like groceries. Ow! That's it. It goes to Janae, my God. Shouts out to Raphael Dillon. I completely agree with him. From Facebook. Yes, Scott. All right. So anyway. Um, okay. So they let's move on from that. Um, I have to say that Monique, Monique looked gorgeous. I don't know. She had on like a um, prison chain moment. It had like ornaments and shit hanging from her dress. It was She was snatched. Her makeup looked great. Monique is pretty anyway, but she's batshit. But she is pretty. And and for some reason, I told you guys, I have this like connection to Monice. I don't know what it is. I like her. I do. Um, Princess looked lovely. Uh, Tiara looked like a um, a big ass anaconda, like she had on the snake skin wrap. I don't know what that was about. Um, Hazel E looked like Hazel E. Um, I got to get it close in detail about her ensemble next week. Um, because they didn't show her much. Brandy looked like the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, she had on um, Beyonce's and Kim Kardashian's Met Gala dress from uh, this year's Met Gala. I'm going to show you guys right now. Hold on. This is what Brandy had on, pretty much. Just like a cheaper version of this. That's what Brandy ass had on. So, yeah. But anyway, and she had gray long hair with it. It was just, mm, she thought she was, she thought she was doing it. She thought she was giving couture. She was really giving, well, not couture, right? All right. So, anyway, that's enough with the fashions. Everybody else just look like themselves. Pretty normal, you know, cute, but basic, whatever. And Nikki looked bloated. Um, so... Let's just follow on up. Um, all right. So, Marion, he's not there. All right. The host. Who's the host? Brooke somebody. I don't know her. Y'all let me know if y'all know the host. Um, all right. They get into the whole Princess Tiara Marie and um, TT thing. Princess Tiara Marie and Pri Princess Tiara Marie and Ray J <laughs> thing. And, um, Basically, how Tia Marie, you know, set up this plan or whatever that backfired in her face because Princess found out about it. And um, they also got into a minute about how Princess went to jail over Ray J. He was already on probation, but she wasn't cooperating with police, so they took her ass to jail. And, and Princess and Ray J is engaged right now. Congratulations, stupid. Um, so, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um... So, Ray J says that he had this conversation with T.T. while this whole thing was going down, when she had this little plan to, like, you know, um, to showcase Princess in the bad light to Ray J. Ray J said that T.T. called her, which is Tiara, and um, they talked, and she was just like, yeah, I know you hurt, huh? I can tell. Tell me, I'm going to come over in your bed, and I'm going to make you feel better. And all this shit. Y'all remember that line from the Players Club, the guy who was in the wheelchair who was doing the dirt? He was like, oh, do something to make me feel bad. And the guy shot up the club. Y'all remember that? He had like a bomb or something. Y'all remember that? Players Club. Memories, darling. Memories. Black black lives. You know, it's just it's, it's legendary film, darling. Legendary. All right. So um, anyway, we move on from that. Tiara Marie said she didn't say it. Tiara Marie didn't look like she dropped an ounce. Not a millimeter. I, 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 I. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so we get into, um, is it Moniz? Um, yeah, we get into this whole, um, they have this thing, like, after the show or whatever that you can see online on YouTube, it's called Check Yourself, it's where the, the, um, the reality stars, they can, of the show, they can, you know, you can get their honest reactions of, what was going on during whatever we saw on the show 
like so they showed Monice tonight and what she said about Princess when it was Princess Tiara, April, Shonda, Monice, all of them was together when they had their little fight scene or whatever between Princess and TT. When they had that moment, they showed what Monice was saying during that moment. And um, Princess said to Tiara, she was just like, Ray J don't want you. And then Monice was like, oh, um, well, she said this to the camera during the Check Yourself um, interview. She was just like, well, Ray J don't want you either, bitch, because why you think he kept you in the house for two years? And then Princess on stage um, followed at the reunion just now. She followed it up with, oh, um, well, I don't even know you, Monice, and you don't even have a roof over your head. You don't even have a home to go to. So Monice got up. She was upset and she left. Rich Dollars followed it up. He was just like, hold the fuck up now. Hold up. She with Rich, so she gonna have a place on over her head, and she does have a home, and that's what. And Tierra followed it up as well, and then Ray J find not Ray J Fizz finally said something to defend Moniz. I know you're not with Moniz Fizz, but Fizz is a punk. Fizz is weak sauce as hell, and he does not defend anybody ever. The only person I think he's gonna defend is his son, and that's it. But if it comes to defending anybody else, even if it came down to defending his brother or something, he's not gonna do it because. Fizz is just not confrontational at all, and, you know, he's just weak sauce, so he don't like drama, and so, but yeah, but I felt like that was a moment where he could have stood up for Manisa a little bit as his baby mother, but whatever. That was just my opinion. Okay, so, Ray J and um, Rich Dollars, they kind of get into a little moment, a little spat, but it wasn't that serious. All right, um, so, let's see. But they get into Monice and when she said what she said to Fizz that have you ever thought that we should get back together and I will always love you and this and that. She said what I thought, what I've been saying from the longest. She had a moment. She wasn't saying that she wanted to get back with Fizz. She said she had like a, a breakthrough because this was the first time that Monice had the opportunity to finally um I guess reminisce about the past. And this was the first time they was getting along in a long time. So she kind of was like, I, she was just saying that I love you and I appreciate you. And, and, you know, I just hope that we can always have this relationship. That's what I got from it. And ultimately that's what she was saying as well. She wasn't saying that she wanted to get back with Fizz at all, but that was just, you know, she, she just had a moment. That was all. And Nikki ran and told that, and you know, she didn't know what she was talking about. And there you go. Um, and pretty much everybody agreed that she was just having a moment and Monice, you know, she got emotion and all that. All right. So moving on from that, um, we get into Miles Milan, Amber, her sister, Amber's sister and Miles, uh, sister. And they get into the whole coming out scene, this show, the scene where Amber falling out all, all on the ground, all upset, you know. A mess, all scripted, allegedly. And, and, you know, just, you know, acting a fool. And she was just like, she was more so, she wasn't upset about the fact that he was gay. She was more so upset about the fact that he lied to her and they've been friends for this long and all that. Stop lying, Amber. You wanted to, you, in your sick mind, said you made it seem like y'all were still in a relationship. Y'all have been in a relationship since, like, damn preschool. And that was it. You was the only one that thought you was in a relationship still with Miles. To to the viewers, it seemed like in your mind, you were still in love with Miles and that y'all was still boyfriend and girlfriend. Just keep it real. She's trying to say, oh, it's because we, you know, best friends that he didn't tell me and I have a daughter and the girl. You know what it was. You was in love with that boy. Um, and she has a 12-year-old daughter and, and she was, you know... Ups she said that she was upset about that mostly and and her father died and so Miles kind of took the place as the father or whatever and all that girl I mean I get it I understand what she's saying but um yeah like keep it real just keep it all the way 100 um I, I don't know what Amber looks like y'all I was really looking at her good and she just I thought she was pretty at the beginning but my god I don't know what she looks like God bless the girl. That's all I have to say. Everybody can't be prom queen, right? All right. So, um, Miles, he admitted, he was like, he came up to Milan. He approached Milan. Milan said that in an interview, I remember, he said that he was, um, 
you know, attracted to Milan and, and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, Milan says that he hasn't been, honestly, he hasn't had any kind of contact with his mother. His mother won't even talk to them, just talk to him just because he is a guy. So I was like, that's messed up or whatever. Uh, moving on from that, we get into Brandy and Max Lux and, and she goes on and on about how if she would have had shorts on, she would have followed behind the truck and um, that he drove off in after he threw the ring. And it's just craziness. And Willie and Shonda said something. They said they don't even wear their wing rings and who even cares? And so who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? My God, who cares? Um, and so, yeah, we get into Fizz, Kamaya, and Nikki. Y'all remember Kamaya who Fizz dumped for plastic booty, Nikki. And said that she was just an appetizer, whatever. And I guess Nikki's the main course. Um, and she was on stage. And he was just like, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean to say that all women was appetizers. Um, I just, you know, he he knew what he meant. His little silly ass. And he kept going on and on about his how his sex game is good. And this and that. And whatever. Um, I'm sure it's whack. But, you know. Just dudes and their ego. Hey, it is what it is. All right. So, um, and Nikki felt like she agreed. She was like, it was disrespectful and, and this and that whole moment. That ass was Nikki and Fizz still together. She said, well, I'm going through my own things. I had a rough year. My brother passed away. She got emotional and she left stage. Um, I feel bad about your brother, Nikki, and rest in peace to him. Um, I still don't like you, but rest in peace to your brother. Um, I'm never want any, anybody to go through that. My God. Um, so we get to Moniz and Amber. Well, they had it was weird because on stage they had people that was on stage that had nothing to do with what was going on with nobody talking to them. Like uh, Brandy stayed up on stage for the longest in her her off brand dress, her off brand Met Gala dress, and I was just like, what is she there for? She just sitting there like instigating and and like making little comments. And it was like, get this little rat off the stage, like uh. -uh. She's just annoying. Um, because it don't make no sense to be that damn hype all the time. Like, sit down. Like, seriously. You're not always going to have people to break up a fight. Like, eventually you're going to get that ass tapped. Tapped out, my God. Um, so, Monice Fizz, um, Amber. Okay, it's Amber, Brandy, and Shonda, and her mom, Marla, sitting down on the stage, sitting down, you know, in the seats. And then we have Monice on stage, and Fizz, and Nikki. And we get into the whole thing of basically Nikki and Mo um, Rich and Monice was going through hard times at one point, and he called Fizz and was like, Look, do Momo want to get with you? And Fizz was just like, Nah, it's something else or whatever. It's not really that. And Rich was like, oh, this is my way out or whatever. So, you know, who knows? Monique says that she thought they was together. Rich says that they wasn't together. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so is Rich and Monique together? Apparently not. But he still loves Monique, Momo, whatever he calls her. So it's just a whole bunch of craziness. Um, so at the end, um, Monique is on stage and they're talking. And um, they, talk, they get into her son and all that. Then here comes Brandy and um, Amber making comments. And here comes Shonda. They all was like, oh, you need to take care of your kids. Like, it had nothing to do with them. It had nothing, you know, who asked them, like, anyway, to speak. But they decided to interject. Brandy's very rude. She likes that. Brandy likes drama. Brandy likes to fight. So, of course, she's going to interject on something that has nothing to do with her. Of course. I mean, why would it be any other way? Why would she just sit there like a lady and be quiet? But um, they started talking, uh, smack to Monice, and, you know, it don't matter if you a flat broke, you need to take care of your child. And Monice was like, I have been taking care of my child, and this and that. So anyway, um, Shonda, Monice is just like, I don't know why you're talking to me. I don't know why you're talking to me. And Shonda, Brandy, they got up. Bitch, who you talking to? And I whoop her ass. And Monique got up in the, and, you know, was trying to defuse the situation. Here comes the security guards rushing the stage. It was crazy. Then it cut off. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I do feel like Marla loves her daughter. She's not going to let anybody attack her daughter. So that's love, I guess. Anyway, sorry about this video being late, you guys, but I worked the night that it came on. But anyway, um, hope you guys liked it. Hope I gave you all... Um, what you needed and the information, all that good stuff. All right, Mr. Chalaki, he's out.